Hi everyone, welcome to the Diva for Rhino video tutorials. This is Kara. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a helpful little script um, to make your Revit file ready for uh, import into or for use with Diva for Rhino. The first thing you're going to need to do is export your 3D model from Revit to a DXF file and if you're using Rhino 4 you're going to want to make sure to export it um, as a 2007 DXF compatible format. Once you have that you can open uh, a Rhino window and go to File Import and make sure to select DXF and click on the file you want to import. Okay and now we can see we have our model imported. So in order for uh, Diva for Rhino to use any of the geometry you're going to need to explode all block instances. Uh, much of the geometry that comes in from Revit if we select block instance you can see that there's quite a number of blocks in the model. Um, I recommend that after you explode the blocks um, that you also delete any curves um, that are in there. Uh, there tend to be a lot of them and at least for most of uh, the uses um, unless you need a particular unless you have a particular use for them you won't need the curves um, uh, that come in from Revit for the Diva analysis. Now what we want to talk about today is actually modifying the windows that come in from Revit um, uh, in order to make them ready for Diva for Rhino. And the reason that we need to do this is because uh, glazing units that come in from Revit are modeled basically uh, as solids. So they have a front and a back plane um, and uh, actually they're six-sided basically. Um, and in uh, for Diva, you really only want them to be uh, single panes um, or a single plane, excuse me. Um, and so the script that I'm going to show you how to run today, it will help you uh, modify your windows um, to get rid of those extra surfaces and make it easy for uh, you to use Diva for Rhino to analyze your model. We're going to be focusing on a few layers here. It's actually a glaze and a glaze glass. And you uh, will notice that uh, all Revit files come in uh, with this naming, or at least the ones that I have worked on. So we're going to isolate these layers for now. And actually, we really don't need even the, um, the CWMG file or layer. And you can see uh, we have all of our geometry here, um, but currently they're represented as blocks. So we're going to select everything that we have here. And if you've already exploded your blocks, then um, that's helpful. Um, but uh, just for demonstration, I'm going to isolate them and explode these. Before the exploding, um, all of these assemblies are actually on the A glazing layer. Um, but we actually want to be able to separate out the um, actual glass pieces um, from, for instance, the framing and other parts. So uh, when we explode, you can see that parts are nested. So now if we turn off the frame, we get uh, just the elements that are on uh, a glaze and a glaze glass. The other bits you're seeing here are curves. So um, one thing I find useful is to use the select menu um, which is uh, in the main toolbar and you right click and you can bring it up. And this will allow me to select all the curves and then I can just delete them. So you can see um, the problem that we have that I was explaining before is our windows instead of being just a single pane have uh, a thickness um, which Revit needs but we don't. So to uh, use the script uh, that Alston wrote uh, for solving this problem, we're going to type load script in the command line. And this will give us a, the option to add a new script. So we're going to click add. And you can download the R, .rvb uh, script from our website. 
and click on it um, wherever you've stored it and click open and we'll give you uh, the script when you're ready to run it you can either do this before and type close right here um, and click load script again when you're ready or if you're ready to run it just simply click on the script file to load uh, which is this one and then click load and this will check to see whether we've already exploded the blocks since we have actually already exploded them um, then we can click yes and it asks us to select all the window meshes in the file. Uh, since those are the only things that we have uh, in this view right now, we can select all of them and click enter. And now it's actually going to run through all of the, uh, the meshes and convert them all to uh, single surfaces. And in the process, it will transform them from meshes to NURB surfaces. Um, but that won't matter to the uh, Diva for Rhino um, analysis. This may actually take uh, several minutes depending on the size of your file. So I'm going to actually pause while I let it run. So now the script is finished running. And uh, if we zoom in, we can see that instead of having uh, a six sided window pane, we actually just have, excuse me. We just have a, a single pane uh, plane, excuse me, represented for each window pane or uh, surface. The other nice thing is this maintains uh, your layers, so um, you can select multiple layers at once when you're using the script. And uh, that's it as far as uh, converting the window glazing. Uh, don't forget to explode your other blocks and delete any uh, unnecessary geometry or curves um, before you run your uh, Revit model um, through Diva. Uh, Diva can handle uh, complex Revit models. I've run them before. Uh, so don't be afraid to, uh, to put your whole Revit model in there. Um, but again, if you don't need certain elements like plumbing fixtures or whatever, uh, it's best to just delete them. Um, small geometry like handrails, if you can do without them, that's also a good idea to, le to delete. One other thing to mention is before running any Diva for Rhino uh, simulations, you want to make sure to also add a ground plane um, and assign it a material. Well, I hope that helps. Uh, now you know how to use the load script command uh, to convert your glazing uh, that comes in with your Revit model to glazing that you can use um, for the Diva for Rhino simulations. Thanks very much, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.